Hey, we got this really interesting question over on YouTube from Lucky Diamonds 5. She was telling me that she struggles with uh, dyslexia, she thinks, possibly the reading and the math side, the dyscalculia. And she's wondering, where do you go to get diagnosed? So are you an adult that thinks maybe you have dyscalculia or maybe some other sort of learning issue? So today I thought it would be helpful to talk about all of those things with you. So um, if you're wondering if you have dyscalculia, you probably struggle with things like reading a map. You might get lost easily. Sense of time might be really difficult. You probably struggle with um, money, finances, finances um, knowing that you got the correct change back or how much uh, money is taken off. If there's a sale, those kinds of things can really trip you up. Not let's not forget that like spreadsheets can be really overwhelming too. And it can make your work life really frustrating. So, um, I want to throw a question back to you about this idea. What is the benefit of going and getting a diagnosis? Because I will warn you, it is super expensive to do so. Professionals that you need to involve in this process would be your uh, regular healthcare professional to rule out things like sight and hearing. Um, but then you are gonna work with a neuropsychologist who have long wait lists and it's gonna cost you probably upwards of $2,000. So my question back to you is, what are you hoping to achieve by getting a diagnosis? And I think it's natural to want to get the diagnosis um, so that you don't feel crazy or insert whatever label that you have uh, been carrying around with you your whole life. Um, it's perfectly normal to want to validate those things. So if you decide to do that, it's a longer, more arduous process. And then you also need to know more about the pros and cons of advocating for yourself at work. Um, Adam Grant has a fantastic episode about disability in the workplace, and we have it linked up in the blog post that goes with this video. So you'll want to go listen to that because it might not be the right choice to go and advocate for yourself at work, but maybe it is. It just kind of depends on what you need. Um, and then maybe you're thinking as an adult, I want to advocate for myself at the university level because the degree I'm interested in has a fair amount of mathematics in it. That one makes sense, but I would actually recommend if you're uh, an adult going to school in college, go to the learning center at your university and talk to them first and talk about your struggles and they can help you find the support that you need and then also decide if maybe that's something that you need to do as far as going and getting a diagnosis because an IEP or a 504 isn't a thing at the university level necessarily. So you want to make sure that um, that's the right path for you. Again, you don't necessarily want to have to go and invest all that money um, if it's not going to really help you achieve what you're looking for in the end. So anyway, so those are some of those things. And then another thing that's becoming more mainstream, I would say, is self-diagnosis. Uh, there's this great guy that I follow, Jeremy, who pokes a hole in this idea about uh, people saying like, you can't label yourself, you can't self diagnose, because you need data, and you need, you know, concrete evidence and all of that. He makes such a compelling argument about why self diagnosis is okay. So I encourage you to go and watch that video and make the decision for yourself. And I want to give you permission that if the label feels like it fits, I gave you permission to own it. Okay, remember that dyscalculia diagnosis is still in its infancy and that really there's still a lot of gray area and broad definitions getting applied here. So proceed with caution. And if you feel like that's something that might be beneficial to you, please comment below the word adult and we'll send you a link to the article that includes some of the resources, but also additional ones to help you get started with your process of diagnosis.